Welcome parents and kids. We're so excited to have you here watching our kids baptism class. We're excited just to share with you about salvation and baptism in kid-friendly terms where you'll be able to just have some discussion as a family together of what baptism is and salvation. So let's jump right in. Baptism is an outward expression of an inward decision that you've made. And before we talk about baptism, we're gonna talk about salvation first. So I have an easy acronym to help us talk about salvation. It's the ABCs. A is for admit. We have to admit that we're a sinner who needs a savior. In Romans 3, 23, it says, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And in Romans 6, 23, it says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Now, if I were to show you a picture of someone in this situation, what would you think of? Looks like this person has not made a very good choice and they have broken man's law. It looks like he was speeding. So when you break man's law, he has to pay man's penalty. And when we break God's law, we have to pay God's penalty. Now the next one we're gonna go to is B. So A was for admit that you're a sinner who needs a savior. Next we're headed to B, which is believe that Jesus is the only savior available. In John 3, 16, it says, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Now, if I were to give you this $1 bill, if I were to hold it up and say, who wants this $1 bill? You would have to maybe raise your hand or reach out and accept that dollar bill as a gift. Same thing with salvation. You've got to accept Jesus' free gift of eternal life. Choose it for yourself. And that leads us to C, which is choose to follow Jesus. In Romans 10, 9, it says, if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. I wanna show you guys a really cool experiment that kind of demonstrates how Jesus washes away our sins. When we admit that we're a sinner, we believe that Jesus is the only savior available, and we choose to invite him into our lives. So now we're gonna show you this really neat demonstration. All right, I have three different things here. This is representing Jesus. This tall vase is representing us. And this vase over here is representing sin. Now this is us. And when we let things like sin come into our lives, it makes our life dirty. So I want you to think of examples of sin. There's no way that we can clean it up on our own. We need a savior. We need someone to wash away all of that. And that's where Jesus comes in. Remember the ABCs? where we admit that we need a savior, that our life is dirty, and then we can believe that Jesus is the only savior available. What an awesome example of how Jesus, when we take him and accept him into our lives, how he washes us clean and takes our sin away. Now that we've talked about salvation, we're gonna talk about baptism. Baptism is a way that we can show our friends and family about an inward decision that we've made. It's something that Jesus calls us to do, and it's an exciting way to show others about that special choice that you made to accept Jesus into your life as your Lord and Savior. So I wanna tell you three things about baptism. The first thing is baptism will show others that you're a Christian. The second thing I wanna share with you about baptism is that baptism is a picture of the death the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus. Standing in the water is an example of when Jesus was dying on the cross. When you lean back into the water, it represents when Jesus went into the grave, and then rising up out of the water represents when Jesus rose again. The last thing is that baptism is an act of obedience. It's something that God's called us to do, telling our friends and family and all those around that we've accepted Jesus into our life. Now, baptism isn't a way that saves us, 
but it is a way that we're able to show those around us about a decision that we've made. So those are the three things I wanna share with you about baptism. Parents, at this point, this is a great time to have a discussion with your kids about salvation and baptism. So parents, when you feel that your child is ready and you've talked to them about baptism and salvation, we encourage you to register them for one of our baptisms, whether it's at the beach or on campus, so that they can show the world that they've made the decision to follow Jesus and to accept him into their lives. Thank you so much for joining us for this video today, and we hope you have a great day.